This morning, a federal appeals court will hear arguments over Texas's controversial immigration enforcement law, which gives local police the ability to detain and deport suspected undocumented migrants. The law is currently on hold after a panel of appellate judges sided with a federal judge who ruled that the law is likely unconstitutional and conflicts with federal immigration policy. NBC News Homeland Security correspondent Julia Ainsley has been following these developments, joins us with the latest. Julia, good morning. So what is today's hearing expected to focus on? Can we expect a ruling today or will it take a little time? Well, it'll probably take a little time, Joe. We've seen a really fast game of ping pong over this issue with the Supreme Court weighing in, saying it could, it, 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 there needed to be a stay, and then reversing that stay, and then the circuit court taking it up, and it, it's really just gone back and forth. There was even a moment where it was allowed to go forward for about 24 hours. Now, we should expect a little bit of a pause, and that's because the circuit court, the appeals court, actually wants to weigh in on the constitutionality of this law. So far, all of these rulings have just gotten into whether or not it can go forward in the meantime while they consider this question. So today they're giving both sides 30 minutes to present their arguments and then we should uh, have we should expect a little time by these three judges, one appointed by Biden, one appointed by Trump and one appointed by George W. Bush will consider the constitutionality of SB4. And we should say that Texas seems to have the higher hill to climb here. Julia, one of the big sticking points here in this law is the fact that it allows judges in Texas to send migrants, regardless of their nationality, to Mexico specifically. What's Mexico's position on that part of the law? Well, yeah, I mean, that's where a big part of the logistics here just fall apart because Mexico has said, no, they won't take migrants who have been deported by Texas judges. These judges have not been trained by the Justice Department to even know how to adjudicate who should remain and who should be deported. Mexico also hasn't agreed to take nationals that aren't from their country. And they also say that it violates their sovereignty to and human rights uh, to take those migrants because it's not up to Mexico to negotiate with each individual United States on who they'll take back, they have negotiated already and continue to negotiate with the federal government of this country. And Julia, no matter how the court rules, does it seem likely this is going to end up back before the Supreme Court? Absolutely. I think no matter who wins here, we'll expect the other side to appeal and go before the Supreme Court. And then it'll really be an interesting case to watch because the Supreme Court, although it is conservative, they have consistently sided with the federal government when it comes to enforcing immigration law because we have a 150-year tradition of the federal government enforcing our borders and not individual states. So Texas today will make the argument that the Biden administration hasn't done enough and it's up to them to step in. But the have to answer a lot of questions in order to prove that and to even talk about how this would look. And when they made these arguments before the same court on the stay, uh, they did not win. And the judges asked some pretty tough questions, including what would you do if a migrant who came in through Arizona ended up in Texas? Uh, and they weren't able to answer that at the time. They may have done more homework in the meantime, but they still have a, a pretty tough hill to climb here, Joe. All right. Julia Ainsley, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.